This is KNUT Channel 69 at 11, your late night news leader. And good evening, I'm Jack Kilpatrick and thanks for watching. We have a developing story to bring you now. Standing at the corner of 3rd and Elm is our up to the minute reporter Tom Harbuckle. Tom, what's going on out there? Good evening, I am reporting live from the exact location where seven days ago two cars came to a screeching halt, coming to within inches of colliding. One of the cars was white and the other was green. They were both four-door sedans. I spoke with one of the residents here who reported hearing the sounds of brakes squealing. The driver of the white car apparently got out of the car to check for damage and injuries and then returned to his vehicle and drove slowly away. Then the other driver also drove away. No charges have been filed, but as you can imagine, this harrowing incident will be remembered by both of the alleged suspects for years to come. This is Tom Harbuckle reporting live from 3rd and Elm. Tom, has there been any backlash from the community as a result of this near tragedy? Yes, Jack, there has been a concerted effort on behalf of the neighborhood to enact more vehicle laws in an effort to prevent any further incidents of this kind. One suggestion is to lower the speed limit out here from 20 miles an hour to 15 miles per hour. Thank you, Tom, for that informative report. A lot going on out there tonight, and we will check back with you during our late, late news at 2 o'clock. For right now, thank you for joining us tonight. This is Jack Kilpatrick wishing you a good night and good news. See you later. This is KNUT Channel 69 at 11, your late night news leader.